Are, all right, so we have a confidence interval for P in a survey of 1,013 adults. A polling agency asked, when you retire, do you think you will have enough money to live comfortably or not? Of the 1,013 surveyed, 531 stated that they were worried about having enough money to live comfortably in retirement. Construct a 99% confidence interval for the proportion of adults who are worried about having enough money to live comfortably in retirement. Okay. So we're doing a confidence interval. It's pretty clear about that. We need a 99% confidence interval. We're doing it about the proportion. So we use these formulas here. When with, with the proportion, it's always the normal distribution that we're using because the... Yeah, because P hat is has a sampling distribution that is normally distributed. And um, we use these formulas. P hat plus or minus E, and the margin of error is there. So first, let's find Z alpha over 2, the critical value. To do that, we have a we realize that we have a picture with 99% in the middle, 0 0.99. That means 0 0.005 is in the tails, if you, that all adds to 1. And uh, therefore, this Z alpha over 2 right here can be found with inverse norm, and then 0.995. So if you do that, you get where I do. I think I did it somewhere there. Uh, so it's a uh, two point five seven six. Two point five seven six. Now all we need to do is get p hat. P hat is five thirty one over one thousand thirteen. That is equal to here. Point five two four two. Now I did store it in X right here. See. Now if I let me show you what I did here. I press store S T O in the lower left corner. You see this button store. It gives a little arrow. Then I put X. Now if I ever want to use that value, I just press X and I can access it. You know, and it has. 10 digits of precision. So when I go ahead and find E, this is how I do it. So E is equal to, now watch, I'm going to do 2.576 square root X times 1 minus X divided by 1013 because we have we have n equals 1013 so you see how it's kind of easy to use x instead of having to plug in a bunch of numbers so we're going to get 0 0.0404 the question wants us to round to three decimal places i i did four and at the end i could i can go ahead and break it down to three cuz that's the answer they want so our confidence interval is going to be <clears throat> point <clears throat> point five two four two plus or minus point zero four zero four. So we can do this now. Look, so that's your p hat. Press enter. Minus that's your margin of error. Press enter, and you're going to get the following confidence interval. Point four eight. Four, comma. <clears throat> now I'm gonna do it again, but actually I can just click that and then change the subtraction to addition. Point five six five, and there's your confidence interval. So the answer will be part A. And um, <clears throat> so notice that when I was putting in a lot of my answers, they were all fully you know approximated to 10 digits so my answers are very accurate because I was just clicking on them or I was scrolling up to get them and then just press enter so you can learn how to do that on your calculator and be more precise so that's it